We're going to take just a short little tangent here and talk about one other way that you might be able to get data in as you're working with it in R. That is data that comes in from R packages. We've talked so far about two ways to read data into R, and they really depend on the file format that you're starting from. If you have a flat file, we talked about ways like read underscore CSV and read underscore DLIM from the reader package to get that into R. We also look just a little bit about how you can use packages like Haven um, to read in files from binary formats like SAS, and then also some functions that you can use to read in data from Excel. There's another source that I think is very easy and convenient, and we'll be using this for a lot of our examples. This is when an R package includes as part of what it sends you when you install that package, some data sets. Sometimes these will only be used as kind of a way to illustrate the functions there, so they might be used in the examples and the help files, but sometimes the whole point of the package could be the data. So we'll be working some with the package that actually is kind of a companion piece to a textbook, and it's the way that the author provided example data sets for people to try out for the different statistical methods that he was describing in the textbook. We're going to be using this package. It's called Faraway. So you'll need to make sure that you install it if you haven't. Again, you would do install that packages and then Faraway in quotation marks. And then the name, um, that's got a number of different data sets. And I'll show you in just a second how you could go through and see all of the ones. But let's start by seeing if you know the name of one, how you load it. So there's one data set there it's called World Cup. If we know that name, then all we need to do is just do a data call with World Cup. So let's take a look at that. We can do library, Faraway, and again, if you don't have this already, you would need to install it. And now, if we know the name of a data frame there that we want, we can put in World Cup. Now you can see over here that I've got that added in. And right now it's just something called a promise. It won't actually load this in until we're ready to use it. So if this were something really big, that might save us a little bit of time on our computer right now, especially if we ultimately never used it. But as soon as we start using it, we'll see it. So let's come back over here and print that out. We'll use head of World Cup. And now if we run that, you can see the data and you can see over here it's moved into a full kind of data object that's defined. So in this case, we have some data on World Cup teams from a few years ago, and we'll be using this a lot in examples moving forward. Now, one special thing about this, if you get a data frame or a data object that comes from an R package rather than something you loaded in yourself, a lot of times they'll actually come with help files, and those provide you some information, for example, about what the different columns mean. You can access those the same way you would access help files for a function. You just do the, the uh, question mark, and then you do the name, in this case, of that data object. So I'm doing a question mark and then World Cup. If you come over here, you can see that that describes what this data set is, and it has some information like what each of the columns mean so that you can really interpret that data. In some cases, they will also have information about the source that the data came from if you ever need to cite that, for example, if you're using it for research. All right, so this is what I was just mentioning about the help files. And then the last piece to talk about here is how you figure out what different data sets are available. So there's this function data that we just used to load up the data when we knew it was there and we knew its name, but we can use that same function with some different arguments to find out all the available data. So first of all, if we just do it by itself with nothing in between, it will pull up a window where it shows us all the available data sets across any of the packages that we have. So for example, we have a number in, in the case on my computer coming from a package called data sets. And I believe this might come with base R. So this might show up for anyone when you pull it up. We've also got some that come with dplyr. Then here we're moving down to Faraway. If you have a lot of packages available, this list might be pretty long. So what you can do in that case is you can come down and in that data call, you can include the name of the package. And so we want to look just for Faraway, so we can put in package equals Faraway.
And now that same window is open, but in this case, it's only showing the data sets that are available in that particular package. As one final note, you can use the library call in a pretty similar way to how we use data just a minute ago to pull up all the data sets. So we've used libraries so far to load up a package that we know we have when we know it by name, but we can do library without putting anything inside. And when we run it, you can see that it gives you all of the options for the different packages that you have installed that you could choose to load through a library call.